Hello everyone, welcome back to the fleet and today I'm going to show you how to install sodium for Minecraft 1.21.1 which is super easy to install and will only take a couple of minutes. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on the link in the description down below to the fabric loader. So we're going to need this to actually run our sodium mod. So from here simply just click on the download button just here, click on that. And from here click on the big blue download button for Windows, click on that and that will download our fabric. We're also going to want to download the Fabric API as well, which again, I will leave a link in the description down below to this website just here. And it will look something like this for you. So simply click on the versions just over here. And then here, we'll be able to find our version we want, which is this one just here for the Minecraft 1.21.1. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit faded in here. And I don't know why it's like this at the moment on the website. But if you can, just try finding this version just here. Make sure it's got Fabric here. And then click on the download button just over here. So click on that. And next what we're going to want to do is actually download this sodium mod. So I will leave a link in the description down below to this and it's this website just here. So it will look something like this for you. And as you can see sodium does a lot of good stuff for your Minecraft game. Which you can read all about here if you want to go through all of this. But simply to download this what you're going to want to do is come onto the uh, versions just up here. Click on that. And in here you're going to want to find the Minecraft version just here at 1.21.x. Now this one here will work with the uh, Minecraft version we are trying to use. So just click on this one here, click on the little download, make sure it has got fabric there, click on the little green download button, and this will download as well. Now quickly while these are downloading, if you want a Minecraft server, be sure to check out Apex Hosting. They have some really good high quality servers, it also does come with a DDoS protection, so you're always safe against attacks. So be sure to check them out with the link in the description down below. So simply now we are on the desktop, what you're going to want to do is go to your downloads folder, and mine is just here. So this is my downloads folder, this is where I've downloaded all my mods to. Now for you, you might have downloaded them to your desktop, so they might be already on your desktop, or to a different file on your computer. But for me, they are in my downloads. I'm going to drag these out onto my desktop, just like that. Close that out. Now the first thing you're going to want to check is the actual coffee mug in here. So you see that here we've got a coffee mug. If yours does not look like this, you might need to download Java, which I will leave a link on the screen, and also in the description down below to a video I made on how to get that. So make sure this does look like a coffee mug. And if you have got Java installed, and this still does not look like a coffee mug, this should still work for you. And uh, yeah, don't worry too much, but you do need Java installed to make this work. So let's just put these off to the side for now. The first thing we're going to actually install is actually the fabric loader or the installer just here, the fabric installer. And uh, yeah, just double click on this file and this will load up a little menu just like this one. So simply from here, what you're going to want to do is click on the install button just down here. Click on that. And now as you can see, mine has now installed. Click on OK. Get rid of this and you no longer need this file. So get rid of that one. Now what we're going to want to do is actually load up our Minecraft launcher. So I'm going to load mine up right now. So I've actually got mine loaded up right now. And as you can see down here, we've got the fabric loader down here. Now don't worry if you don't see this, I will tell you how to get this in a bit. So simply just come to installations up here, click on that. And in here, what we're going to want to do is just make sure this modded is selected. So yeah, make sure this modded here is selected and it should come up in here. If it doesn't come up in here, what you're going to want to do is click on new installations. And in here, you'll be able to uh, select your fabric loader just here, select that. Then click on create down here. Now only do this if you have not got this in here. So if you've got this in here, great, we're all good to go. And again, if you don't have this, just create one from this button just up here. So now what we're gonna to wanna to do is actually install our mods. So simply to do that, just come over to the end here, I'll click on the little file button just there, click on that. This will load up our Minecraft folder. And in here, what we're gonna to wanna to do is find our mods folder just here. So as you can see, I've got a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, what you can do is just right click then click on new down here, then click on folder, and then just call this simply, just call it mods, just like that, and click on enter. But for me, I've already got this, so I do not need that. So I need to get rid of that file now. So if you don't have a mods folder, simply just make one. And now once you've got your mods folder, just double click into it. And in here, we need to install our mods to here. So as you can see, I've got my fabric API. I'm going to drag that into my mods folder, just like that. And also my sodium, so drag that into here as well. Now close this out. Now come back over to your Minecraft launcher. And in here, click on play. Make sure it is on your fabric loader, click play, and now this will load up. So once your Minecraft has now loaded up, simply in the corner here, we can see that we have got Minecraft 1.21.1 fabric modded. So if you see this, this is good news, and that means we have got fabric installed. So simply now, just come onto single player, create onto your new world, so go onto your world, or create a new world, and now we'll be able to test our mods. So now once you're on your world, simply the fastest way to find out that if everything is working for your sodium, click on the escape key, Go to options, click on video settings, and in here, we can see now the whole layout has changed. So in here, we have now got our sodium installed, and what you can do is you can go through here and change any of these settings if you want to. 
and uh, yeah simply that is all working also sodium does give you a lot better fps as you can see i am getting over a thousand fps at the moment from just staying in here now usually i won't get this much playing minecraft normally so sodium does really help out getting more fps so if you don't have a good computer you can still play minecraft if you install sodium which is great and um yeah as you can see tons of fps up in the corner there so that is how you install sodium for minecraft if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like on it hit that subscribe button if you are new but that is it for this video and i'll see you all in my next one